G'day, pressure washing, pressure cleaning fraternity. We've talked about the runaround circuit before in relation to the unloader valve and the pump and saving your pump for long-term jeopardy. I'm just gonna run you through this system and actually show you what to do and point you back to the right parts to be able to modify your system if you have an external runaround uh, bypass. And also wanted to show you a machine that has an internal runaround bypass which you won't be able to modify. So on the first machine which is a fantastic machine, and I'll call it our entry level system, it has an internal runaround bypass with the unloader valve. So there's no external lines allowing the water to recirculate externally. So when we do take our hand off the pressure gun, um, water will continually circulate through the pump and reach a point where the temperature of the pump will eventually overheat. We do have a thermal discharge on the back and if that goes off it is a bit of a bad day. So with a particular machine like this when you finish pressure cleaning and you've released the pressure from the gun do come down and turn the machine off. So if you're on a roof um, we can talk about different machines which we can get around that whether having a tank or I'm going to show you a modification if you have an external bypass. So this has an internal runaround. The next three along all have external. So from the first one, which we can't see any of the external runaround bypass systems, this one will be easily modified. So we have water in, our pressure out. When we release the trigger, like all the other particular systems, water will be relieved by the unloader valve, spring assembly and shoot back into the inlet. So it's a continual run around of the water through the pump. So eventually in that configuration too, that pump will get hot. It does have a thermal discharge, but that pump will continually, in, heat will increase to a point where it, over long term, long term jeopardy, it is going to degrade the pump. So both these systems are the same. The next one up, we can also see the external run around, exactly the same as the smaller system here. So on this particular skid mounted system, being this one's 5,021 litres a minute. So if we did this particular system on a trailer or in a van or a truck, we would technically hook this up to a water tank so that when we take our hand off the trigger, water will return um, back to the tank and have a continually cold inflow as an inlet pressure and temperature to keep that pump nice and cold. So this one is going into a trailer system shortly. So we have our, our water in, we have our unloader valve here. So I'll direct you back to the correct fittings, whether quarter or three eighth on our website, which you can see in relation to the modification. So what we're, all we're going to do on this particular system is cut our particular hose here, and we can keep the, the threaded section there in regards to um, reinserting that and turning that back to a connection where that can go through the floor or back to a garden hose connection to route that away or back to a water tank um, as an inlet or continuous route around. So we'll just remove this particular fitting and these are um, liquid threaded in in relation to we've done here is removed the run around circuit so when we take our hand off the trigger the bypass in this particular setup when it is installed in a trailer will go back to a water tank for the smaller units if you're not running a water tank we can direct this below in relation to um, to discharge on the ground or, or through the floor if it's in a vehicle or trailer I'll uh, direct you back to the correct fittings in relation to um, what you need to buy to be able to carry out this modification. So we're, we're doing this mod to relieve the pump 
in relation to keeping the pump pressure or temperature nice and cool for long-term jeopardy so we don't have to run back and turn the machine off and if your phone does ring um, we can not have to worry about overheating the pump and setting off thermal discharges so we're just going to use a bit of thread tape when using thread tape always in direction of rotation uh, it's only low pressure we have water in so that when we screw this particular bung in um, this one's uh, 3 8 uh, we're not going to um, pick up the thread tape when we do wind it back in direction of rotation so there are liquid liquid sealers that we can can use in regards to to making a, a water tight connection but a little bit of thread tape in in this regard will work just as, just as well so we'll just continue to do up this this connection there um, and, and secure that uh, we'll go in a couple more threads and uh, it is only low pressure so when we do take our hand off the trigger on this one the bypass unloader valve is going to unload and dump that water pressure directly to the ground and not return it back into the inlet to complete that runaround circuit and keep that pump nice and cool in relation to the bungs 3 8 uh, quarter I'll put a couple of links where you can pick them up from our website. Um, I hope this has been a, a bit of an overview in relation to preserving your pump and depending on how you're working, whether you're running you know, extended lengths of hose to be able to get back to the machine and, and shut that off, or you might even not be aware of the way your particular system works and trying to keep that pump temperature low but this will definitely give this machine or machines with an external run around bypass longer term jeopardy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. All the information and pricing you can pick up at ionicsystems.com.au and you can see all the pressure cleaning bits and pieces and, and soft washing gear. We'll see you on the next video.